Well, the first video I wanted to do in this series is talk about the 3D printer itself and what to look for if you're just starting off 3D printing and you want to buy one and you don't know which 3D printer to buy. You can buy everything from a big, huge print bed, $2,000 printer to something as, as cheap as, a, as this for $200. And admittedly, this is the only 3D printer I've owned, but I've watched a bunch of videos and I've looked into it. And I want to go over um, what makes a good beginner 3D printer. First is obviously price. If you're going to spend 200 bucks, it's not the end of the world. If you use it a few times and you figure, you know what, I I'm not really into it. Uh, this isn't something I'm going to spend tons of time doing. Whereas if you spend $2,000, you better like it. It better be... Uh, something you're really into. So 200 bucks and price, that's a big big reason why this was the most popular printer this year on Amazon. Um, the second reason is simplicity. Those more expensive printers, obviously, they have a bigger print bed, they have much more settings, accuracy, all sorts of reasons why they're better. This is simple. There's a Z axis, an X and a Y. It's simple, it's basic, it's sturdy, there's no frills, but it, it does a good job at what it can do. And simplicity is good when you're just starting off. There's only three different menus. And I'm going to get into that a whole other video when I go into depth on this printer itself. But you want for a beginner printer, you want it to be simple. You want it to be basic. You don't want to spend five hours setting it up. Um, out of the box, this thing is ready to go. You check the print bed level. Um, you load up the file and you start printing. So something you want something basic you don't want all these big elaborate gears and pulleys and belts um, that's when you know what you're doing and you, you, you know um, you know how all the big the basic stuff and then you can get into the more advanced things so you want to keep it simple um, the third thing is I say quality but you, you want something sturdy I've seen some other printers that are they're made of plastic and they seem very flimsy this is uh, a bent sheet metal. Everything's metal on here. There's no real plastic parts. There, there's some cheap uh, parts internally which people have pointed out and they've uh, come up with fixes for. You can you can print uh, the z-axis stabilization so you can modify a printer like this but you want to start with something that's pretty sturdy and basic um, and something that's pretty good quality. You don't want to, there's some really cheap ones that the the bars bend and things like that. Another thing, this is a really popular printer, which means there's lots of forums, there's Facebook pages and videos and all sorts of stuff. There's stuff on Reddit that thousands of people have contributed to make this better and give you um, tips and things to fixes. If you come, in a, come across a problem, it's most assuredly come across by other people and they've already asked the questions. If you buy some weird printer that's not very popular, yeah, you might get lucky or you might be stuck because there's you run into a problem and no one will be out there to help you. With something that's popular, um, you know you're going to come in, you're going to have lots of answers out there and, you know, different parts you can print. There's hundreds of parts you can print to make this printer better or add on to it and things like that. So if you've always wanted to get into 3D printing, um, obviously you're going to want to buy something inexpensive because you don't know. You want to buy something sturdy, something simple something you're not spending hours and hours fiddling around with you want it to print and then then you learn all the different settings and setups and things you can improve your prints um, and I'll do some other videos coming up where I go over specifics about this printer and specifics about all filament all the tools and things like that but these are just some tips of things to look out for when you're review looking over reviews and you, you want to start off 3d printing and um, you don't know anything about it, so uh, good luck.